Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future LP Part 20. In this part, we are going to go ahead and head home back to the present day times. Um, we have this beautiful home, not really too big, but you know, this nice little quaint home here in the future, and I definitely want to head back home and you know, kind of live a normal life a little bit for a while as well. Kind of have the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? So we are going to try to win that lottery. We definitely need the money. Um, so we are going to head to City Hall and uh, check the lotto records and we're gonna let Lily do it too why not just to get a little bit of extra money um, because we really do need it so I really want a pretty house uh, you know I love family homes you guys know me I love family homes so I definitely I'm in the mood to decorate a house and everything so probably not in this part but the next part they're gonna be having a really nice present day time home and everything so I'm very excited to do that so yeah also off camera I went ahead and improved our relationship with Noel, and I did that off camera, and his name is Noel, not Noel. I was just saying Noel because of Christmas, but um, no, Noel actually, we I improved our relationship with uh, Miss Lily here, so now they are good friends, which is good, you know what I mean? I really want them to begin to date a little bit, Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and wait for these two to finish whatever they're doing in here. Cody Freeman was unable to find any permanent pertinent lotto information. Neither of them were. <gasps> Get back in there. Do it again. We need simoleons. I'm going to have all of them go do it. <laughs> we need it. Go back in, you guys. Hopefully one of them gets uh, some information on it. All right. Cody Freeman was able to dig up some winning lotto tickets. So it wasn't Lily. Okay. Um... I don't know how this will work exactly if all of them have winning lotto tickets or if only one of them can get it. Um, but let's see if we can go ahead and actually um, invite Noel out and see if he wants to hang out with little Lily tonight and see if they maybe want to go get something to eat together or something. They'll meet up at, uh, let's go ahead and meet up at the lounge. Uh, yeah. All right, and these two will go ahead and head home. No, I'm not interested right now. Hello. Whatever. Oh. All right, everybody's going to go ahead. Actually, Cody Ugh. and Brandy, a fire has started on your lot. Are you effing kidding me? Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, I thought that was our house. I got so scared. Okay, okay, okay. Cosma, Cosma, Cosma. Call the firefighters. All right, the firefighter should be here. Ugh, oy vey, why? <laughs> why does this happen to us? Wait, where's Indigo? Indigo! She literally has no fears. She runs right up to the fire. Indigo, Cosma, go back home. Both of you, go home. Oh, it's her birthday? What the fuck? Why? So Lily's about to have her birthday. You guys, she's about to celebrate her birthday while this is happening. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I didn't even know. Oh gosh. They can play tag together. That's pretty cute. Lily is now a fully mature adult. Awesome. Those pigtails need to go, though. All right, the firefighters are now here taking care of that. Lily is having a midlife crisis. She would, though. She would be the one to have a midlife crisis. All right, let's go ahead and buy a mirror really quick. Oh, you cannot enter build by mode when there is a fire on your lot. Come on. Come on. Everybody help put it out. Indigo can't. Everybody else can. Oh my goodness. Indigo. Alright. Come on. <gasps> come on. Why is this fire so big? Who the hell are these? Who is he? And Cody's here now. Flipping shit too. Oh my goodness. 
come on. Um, okay, so that was extremely intense. Um, we've had a few fires. Uh, we're going to go ahead and collect these rocks right here to make some extra simoleons. And a lot of you guys are telling me there's a huge rock behind your house. And I know this, but for some reason, like, I can't pick it up. Oh, I can sell it right here. Cool, never mind. Got it. <laughs> but, yeah, Cody's going to go ahead and grab all of these rocks right here. And, um, we are going to come in here and, uh, Cosmo's serving some dinner. What are you making? I don't know. I can't tell. I think she's making ratatouille. Um, and, yeah, everybody's just going to come home and relax and... I was going to have them go on a date, but a fire happened. So, yeah, let's definitely not do that. But let's, uh, oh, we don't need a mirror. There's one right here. Let's go change our appearance really quick. All right. I think I'm going to give her the same hair because she's only had it for a short amount of time. And I really do like that hair on her. So, I'm going to go ahead and do her appearance off camera really quick. Alrighty. So, um... I think I'm actually going to go ahead and just do it on camera. Why not? Show you guys a little bit of Lily Freeman's makeover, right? It's not really a makeover, but here she is with no makeup. She looks horrifyingly scary. Um, but let's see. I honestly don't know what I want to give her. Maybe something like this. No, I'm kidding. But I have so much um, store content that I don't use. And I really, really, really do love store content. I don't say it enough, but... I really do love store content, especially the clothing options and the furniture sets. I think out of everything, I think furniture sets are my favorite things from the store uh, because you can do so much with it. Um, let's see. La, la, la. But yeah, furniture sets, they're cheap and, you know, they can make your house look so amazing. So I really do love furniture sets. I honestly, I could see myself using this in the future for her, but I think for now, like I was saying, I think we're going to go ahead and just stick with the hair that we had um, before. Oh, uh, so where is it? Do, 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 let me see. It is right here. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of the purple in her hair. <laughs> Be like a little bit more mature with her appearance now that she is a fully grown adult. Let's go ahead and darken her blonde up too. Just a little bit. Okay. And now let's go ahead and put some makeup on Miss Lily. Let's go ahead and give her can I take okay this is from the 70s 80s 90s but I feel like this could be really toned down to make it really nice uh, so let's go ahead and try it make this like a brown maybe okay yeah that looks actually scary that looks terrifying so yeah never mind we'll go ahead and use this a little bit use a brown Alright, and for her eyeliner, mm, we'll go ahead and use this one. And for her blush, we will use this one maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that works. And some lipstick, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give her a little bit of color. Oh, she looks so old. <laughs> she looks so old. I don't want her to look old. She's my little Lily. She's su supposed to forever be a baby. Stop. Okay. We'll give her a pink lip. All right. So we definitely want Lily to go ahead and take the next step with Noel and, you know, get a little frisky. So I, I really do want to invite him, you know, to come with us back to the to the present day time, but I don't know if we can. I really want him to come over, but he keeps saying no. So I'm going to see if Cody calls him, uh, if he will come over. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. What a fucking dick. Okay, why? All right, Lily's like, come on, I just got my, my roots done. My grays were showing. Come on. <sighs> Guys. 
What did Cosmo make? I'm really curious to know. She made egg rolls. Mmm. Alright, let's have everybody uh, go ahead and eat some of these. Uh-oh. What are you doing, Cosma? Giving herself a little bit of a tune-up. Good, good, good. Alright, everybody's going to come eat their dinner. And uh, let's wait for Noel to get here. Should be she. Blah, blah, blah. He should be here shortly. There he is, and he still hasn't showered. How long has it been? It has been too long, Noel. You need to stop. Um, we are going to ask him, actually, if he wants to spend the night. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see if he wants to spend the night. Indigo! You're so gross! <laughs> go, um, go take a shower. Oh, actually, it's Indigo's birthday. <gasps> Today she's coming a teenager. That is so exciting. Definitely Brandy and Cody need to have another child. I don't know if I want to DNA and genetic engineer a baby or if I want to actually just have a regular baby. I don't know yet. Do you want to sleep over? Ugh, this was boring. I'm not sure if I could yawn hard enough to express my boredom. Alright, I think he is going to go ahead and spend the night actually. Thanks for inviting me over. Ooh. Alright, let's go ahead and flirt with him a little bit. You know, let him know that we are interested in him and um, all that good stuff. I don't know if he's even single though. What is going on? Are you effing kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Stop. Everybody's like getting out of bed right now. Look at Brandy. She's like, I hate my life. I I want to go back home. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to send. Nobody can go to bed right now. <laughs> of course they can't. Of course they can't. Indigo, go ahead and call the firefighters. Guys. 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 I am so done with all of this. I really am. All right, all right. Cody, extinguish flames. Everybody help out and extinguish flames. Go, everybody, do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am ready to leave the dystopian future. As much as I love it, I am so ready to leave. You guys have no Who's Who's going to take my rock? I will kill them. I will kill whoever takes my rock. Anyways, like I was saying, we're going to compliment his personality, his appearance, ask him if he's single, and um, flirt a little bit. He is single, and he is family-orientated. Good. Okay. We're going to compliment his personality again, his appearance, even though he looks horrible. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, flirt with him and uh, do all that good stuff with him. He's not really feeling that flirty, which is a little weird. Let's see if we can give him a heat of the moment kiss. Oh, he likes it. Ooh. No. No, I like it. All right. Um, let's go ahead and give him. I think he's leaving. Yeah, I think he is leaving. I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't, I don't know. Why, why does this always happen to Lily? Um, okay. We're going to go collect these rocks right here and everybody's going to head to bed. Uh, because, actually, I think we're gonna go ahead and head home. Like, right now. Even though I really want Noel 
to come with us. I really want him to come with us, actually. I really want him to move in so Lily can, you know, go ahead and be with him. I don't know. Um, all right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have Cody and everybody go home. I think we are going to leave Lily home. And you guys are probably thinking, why are you going to leave her? We're, we're going to leave her in the dystopian future or here in the future. But this is my reason why. I don't want her to age because we are going to be going to the present day times, okay? And I don't want her to go. I don't know if I can leave people behind. I'm guessing that we can't actually. Never mind. I wanted her to stay behind so we could go ahead and, you know, have her not age while everybody is in the present day time. Because I want her and Noel to, like, stay together. I don't know. This is difficult. But it's Indigo's birthday. If you guys remember, I told you guys that Indigo is a total present day girl. Um, she really, really likes the present day. She was born in the future. And she was genetically made, uh, you know, like probably out of a tube or something I don't know but she really really likes the present day times um so with that being said um her birthday let's celebrate it in the present day and uh, we have lottery tickets and I'm really excited to go ahead and you know Hopefully win the lottery. So I will see you guys in the present day time. Okay, so serious long time no present, right guys? It's actually fall time here in the present. And um, look how ugly our house is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's still a crib in here. You guys, this is so old. Alright, what we're going to go ahead and do for now, since we don't have that much money, because we haven't gotten our lottery tickets yet we're going to go ahead and take Aunt Lily's bed <laughs> and make it a double bed um, for Indigo to go ahead and sleep in so let's see we are going to give her a bunk bed from let's see the future shock living maybe um, I think so yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Actually, this is present day time. I don't want to use future furniture while they're at home. Let's go ahead and give them some, you know, present day furniture. Let's see. Let's go ahead and give her, well, them. Maybe this bed right here. Let's go ahead and customize it too. All right. So the bottom bunk will be Lily's. So she can actually get into it because she's old now. And uh, let's light, lighten the wood a little bit too. All right. And then the top one will be Miss Indigo's. And it will be will be cheetah print Ooh. okay that's just that for now just so they can sleep you know what I mean doesn't have to look cute but all right Lily and Lily Lily all right everything's good so let's go ahead and buy a little indigo a cake we have waffles that are still good let's put them in front of the shower because that's um you know cute let's go ahead and buy a little cakey poo for miss indigo here and uh, Indigo's going to come blow out the candles. She's so happy to be home. Oh my god, Cosma. Move. Go on, Indigo. Okay. Our genetically made baby... Our little engineer child. I love her. <laughs> okay. Come on. All right. Do 
due to her indifferent study habits, she didn't go to school, like, her whole life. So, what? She has developed the daredevil trait. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, she she has some really prominent eyebrows. But she is cute. Okay. Um, a little scary looking, but we can deal with that. Let's go ahead and change her appearance and maybe look... Oh, my gosh. Girl. That dress and those shoes are so cute. I'm kidding. Those are horrifyingly horrifying. But, um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and give her a makeover. She definitely looks like Brandy to me. She looks a lot like Brandy. Go away. Alright, let's go ahead and change her appearance a little bit. Now that she is a teenager. Alright, let's go ahead and give her some makeup. Just some eyeliner, I think, will do her fine. Um, yeah. Make her skin look a little dewy because she's so young, maybe. Hmm. Actually, let's give her some good blush. Just turn down the opacity a little bit. Or a lot of bit. Okay. And for her lips, we will give her mattes as usual. I love the matte lipstick in this game so much. Just kind of want like a uh, natural pinky type of tone. Just like that. And let's go ahead and change her hair now. She is really cute, though. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see, what hair do I want to put on her? Oh, I did like the one when she was a child. I did really like this hair on her, you know? So I think we're going to go ahead and keep that. And let's see what eyebrows I have that we can go ahead and give her. Hmm. Let's go ahead... And give her, hmm. All right, we'll give her these ones. Yeah. All right, so there's Indigo's appearance. She definitely looks like her mother a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, I like it, though. She looks a lot like her mom, and she, she looks really pretty. She is. She's a cutie. Aw, look how cute she is. She's like, why am I wearing pink? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm indigo. I'm supposed to be wearing indigo. No, I'm kidding. Um, but we're going to go ahead and um, need to buy a wardrobe, actually. We don't even have a wardrobe. Like, what? What in the world? All right, let's go ahead and uh, buy a wardrobe. We really, honestly, this house is about to get a huge renovation once we get the results on the... Um, on the lottery because it needs it so bad but uh for now we're just trying to get a little home just set up the necessities but we're gonna go ahead and plan her outfit now they should be getting the the results pretty soon i would think let's go ahead and change our appearance now um for her clothing attire like i told you guys she's a very outdoorsy person she loves the present day time she's all about just you know grass and trees and bugs and yeah so i definitely want her to you know maybe have like a pet rattlesnake or something i think that would be awesome um so let's see let's go ahead and give her um a little outfit I think we're gonna give her this outfit but obviously customize it a little bit some all black leggings and um, we're gonna give her this color top that and that okay and for her shoes I think I'm gonna put boots on her um Actually, no. We're going to put some Toms on her. I think those would look really cute with her outfit. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and put those on her. Actually, I want to change the colors of her outfit up a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Um, yeah. 
let's see because I feel like it looks a little Halloweenish. <laughs> um, so let's let's change it a little bit really quick. Um, I know this is taking me forever. This honestly, this t sort of thing really does take me forever. So sorry about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do white. I feel like white looks a little bit nicer. All right, there we go. Um, for her formal attire, I could care less. I could care less. I really could. I don't care. Um, let's go ahead and just, yeah, you know what? That looks fine. Okay. Let's just change the shoes a little bit. Give her some, some nude heels. All right. And for her sleepwear, let's throw you. Yeah, that looks fine too. Eh, her athletic wear. Let's go ahead and give her a little bit of school spirit and uh, some leggings. That totally don't really match, but oh well. She does not match at all. Jabba and for her swimwear, let's go ahead and give her some cute little bikini bottoms. An all black bikini, maybe. Yeah. Actually, we're going to go ahead and use the seashells. Ah, no, actually, we're, we're going to give her an all black bikini. All right, in her outerwear, let's do this really quick. She will definitely need this because it's ball time now. So let's go ahead and give her some white. Some really nice white uh, clothing. I love the white uh, jacket and I love the khaki colored scarf. So maybe we can give her some khaki colored jeans. Those are definitely not khaki colored. Um, just go ahead and customize this really quick. Sorry, this is taking me forever, guys. All right, there we go. And for her shoes, of course, some little booties. Alrighty, guys. So there's Miss Indigo. She has her full makeover now. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that she's a teenager. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and wait for the lotto to appear. And then we're going to go ahead and end this part here. Well, not here, but we're going to wait for the lottery really quick. It should be ending soon, considering the day's almost over. You would think it would be... It'd be time. Aww. She's like, you were pretty much my mom like the whole time I was growing up. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Actually, no. I was going to say, I could totally get Indigo, you know, into bot building when she's young. But I'm like, then again, she's a total, like, home person. Like, present daytime. Why would she want that? The girls. The girls. Okay, guys. Look how much they look alike. They look so much alike. And then there's Lily. So confused. So like oblivious to the world. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. Alright, I'm just going to have everybody go ahead and head to bed. Why not? Cody, get do not sleep in your daughter's bed. Do not be creepy. Please, for once, do not be creepy. Alrighty, guys, everybody's gonna go ahead and head to bed. Hopefully in the morning, um, we will have the lottery tickets results. Oh my gosh, I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I'm sitting here, when are they gonna announce the winners? We didn't even buy a lottery ticket. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. You guys, I am so done with myself. These two need to get out of bed right now and go buy a winning lottery ticket. I am so done with myself. Am I actually, like, serious? Was I... I can't, you guys. All right, these two are going to go buy the lottery tickets. And, um... You guys, I'm seriously... I can't... We're going to go buy another. We're going to buy a couple of winning lottery tickets. Why not, right? In increase our chances. All right. They're going to go ahead and head home now. Alrighty guys, so like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and skip until we get the announcement if we won or not. Okay, so we got the winning ticket. Woo! So Cody won about 6,000 and Lily Freeman won 62,000 simoleons from the lottery. So Cody won 6,000 and Lily came out with a whopping 
like 62,000 simoleons. That, my friends, is why we love Lily so much. All right, so in the next part, we are going to be going ahead and making a nice, quaint little family home here in the present day times because I definitely want to have another baby and all that good stuff. But at the same time, I also want to head to the future to go ahead and bring Noel back. So I might do that off camera, but I will see you guys in the next part. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.